Vapor trap beats often elicit a strong sense of nostalgia, but that fact shouldn't be too surprising since Vapor Trap is an offshoot of Vapor Wave, and Vapor Wave's central thematic elements play off of a recontextualization of technology and entertainment from the past. So nostalgia has pretty much been baked into its DNA. The Vapor Trap microgenre was pioneered by Canadian producer Blank Banshee about a decade ago. This style of music creates a nostalgic atmosphere through its frequent usage of iconic sounds that are immediately recognizable to most people. The sounds are typically sampled from old video games or 90s computer software, like this PS2 startup sound, or the startup sound from a PC running the Windows 95 OS. At first glance, it may seem kind of weird to mix Trap and Vaporwave together, since they're essentially polar opposites in terms of their general energy and aesthetic. But the fast-paced, hard-hitting trap drums contrast with the laid-back, chill vaporwave vibe in a really compelling way. While I was smoking and contemplating the state of my dying channel, packing up my studio gear, and filling out Wendy's applications, I started wondering whether vaporwave would mix with drill as well as it mixes with trap. Has anybody done it before? I don't know. Maybe. But who cares? And is drill music really that different from trap music? Um, not really. Aside from a few minor changes to the general drum patterns, they're essentially identical. So it should work, right? Well, let's find out. Chords, the backbone of any song. Gotta start off with some chords or I'm gonna end up wandering aimlessly. It can sometimes help if you have another song in mind while you're making a beat. Right now I'm thinking of the Donkey Kong water level music. I know I'm not going to be able to create something as classic as that. That song is pretty much the best water level music ever created for a video game. With Dire Dire Docks coming in a close second. But either way I can follow the same sort of formula, you know what I mean? Like deep synth pads and repetitive arpeggiated pluck patterns. Having that water level image in my head will at least give me a target to aim for. Whether or not I hit it is another thing altogether. We'll just continue to layer sounds until I think it sounds right. Alright, this is starting to sound like some wavy, nostalgic ass shit. I guess we can start on those arpeggiated plucks. Gotta cut some of those frequencies. It's kinda harsh on the ears. Maybe widen it up with this chorus effect and add a little reverb for some ambience. Alright, I gotta layer some things up here until it sounds good to my subjective taste. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. It might be cool to add like a brassy synth lead. Don't ask me why, I just feel like we need something more here, or else this beat is gonna sound stale as shit.
use a flanger to give it a more spacious feel. And a bandpass to thin it out. All right, I think we're probably good on melodic elements. Gotta add in this Windows 95 perk to trigger those childhood memories. that a synth bass stab would be cool here. I know that's kind of like a Detroit or Bay Area type of element, but since we're already blending genres together that have no business being together, who gives a shit? Let's just go nuts. I need to figure out how to arrange this. Just an FYI, this beat will be free to download for nonprofit use on BeatStars. I'll link it below. I'm interested to see whether or not anybody does anything with it, since it's kind of a unique vibe, but I do like the sound and I think it has a lot of potential to be turned into a dope ass song. For visuals, I'm probably just gonna download some different pixel art then use Photoshop and Premiere to layer it. So I'm not really creating anything from scratch, I'm just sort of mixing together and repurposing art that already exists. That's sort of keeping in line with the spirit of Vaporwave, right? At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself to justify my lack of artistic ability. Jamie the beat, so we mixing them perfect.